In this video, we're going to have a look at how to name the class of compounds called the carboxylic acids. And what makes something a carboxylic acid? Well, it's an organic compound that contains the carboxyl functional group. And what exactly is that? Well, it's where I have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and also single bonded to an oxygen and a hydrogen. And we'll see some of those in the examples uh, in a moment. Uh, the key thing to know about naming carboxylic acids is that the suffix or the end part of the name is going to be anoic acid. And for reference, let's include our table of stem names that tell us about the number of carbons in my longest carbon chain in the compound. So for some examples, here we go. Uh, first of all, here's the functional group, the carboxyl functional group. There's the double bond to the oxygen and there's a single bond to an OH. Together, that is the carboxyl functional group. And in this case, how many carbons do I have in my molecule? Well, I've actually just got one. So in that case, the stem part of my name is going to be meth. So if I write that down and then add my suffix, it's going to be methanoic acid. And you'll notice in these examples, I don't need to put any numbers in my name because this carboxyl functional group can only come at the end of my uh, carbon chain. Example number two, here we go, same thing, I can see my carboxyl functional group down on the right hand side there. How many carbons are in that molecule? I've got one, two, three. That relates to the stem name of prop. So if I write down that stem part of the name, add my suffix on, I've got propanoic acid in that example. Third one, uh, again, doesn't matter that I've drawn the carboxyl functional group this time on the left hand side of my molecule. It's still technically the first carbon, so I don't need any numbers. Uh, how many carbons are in my main chain? I've got one, two, three, four. That's going to relate to the stem name bute. So if I write that down, add my suffix, I've got in this case butanoic acid. Nice and easy. Uh, next one. Here we go, again my carboxyl functional groups on the right hand side of the molecule, it's still the first carbon so the number is not required. How many carbons are there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six in my main chain. That relates to the stem name of hex. So let's write the stem followed by the suffix. I've got hexanoic acid in that case. Final one, slightly more complicated. Why is this more complicated? Well in this Example, I've got a carboxyl functional group on one side of my molecule and also on the other side of my molecule. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra detail to my name. How many carbons are there? There's two carbons. That's going to be the stem name of F. And then instead of putting ethanoic acid, because there are two of that functional group, I'm going to put ethanedioic acid. And that die simply tells me that I've got two of that functional group in this specific example. Uh, and that's pretty much it for carboxylic acids. They're quite straightforward, I think. Uh, hopefully this video was of some help.